Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. And on today's video, we find ourselves back in the kitchen because we're doing something that I have been looking forward to do in my home because I'm tired of having these old switches. And that is installing the Lutron Cressida or Cressida, Cressida, Cressida switches. Let me show you what I'm going to be installing. Besides the switches, I'm going to be installing surge protecting outlets. So if there's an electrical spike, this will protect whatever's connected to it. So you want this to be connected to like a PlayStation, your television, your computer, anything that matters to you that has to connect to a wall, you probably want to get this uh, surge protector. Now to the switches. Since I have a fan in the kitchen, I have gotten a on and off switch for that fan in the kitchen. And when I took the wiring out, it was a bit confusing, but um, so that I won't have to go too much into detail while installing it, I'll show you guys here now that it's all out in the open. So this is a ground, that's very simple. This is the neutral. This one is power and this one is load. And if I'm not mistaken, the blue is for a three-way switch, existing three-way switch. So since we're not using three-way, we're just gonna get rid of this. But to be honest, we are gonna be using three-way, but I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna be using it. So that's for the fan. This switch is what we're going to be using for the light in the kitchen. So it's pretty much the same exact thing. Uh, white is neutral, green is ground, black is power, and red is load. So this one goes to the light, power, neutral, ground. Pretty simple. So don't get intimidated by all these wires. If your house is pretty old, there is a chance you don't have a neutral. So this switch might not work for you, but they do sell one that doesn't have this middle button that has only two black wires and a ground. So it doesn't need much power to work. This one is the more expensive one that has the button in the middle. And this one is what you use for, you know, like spotlights. So if you have more than one light connected to the switch, this is the switch you need to get. I also like this button because I personally like my lights to be at 50% and just pressing this button leaves it at 50%. Pressing this button leaves it at 50%, then pressing this button with the lights off turns it on to 10%, and pressing this button turns on the light to 100%. Pretty simple. So the other thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a three-way switch, but with the Pico remote. So as you can see, this remote matches this switch. This remote matches this switch. And the reason why I got this is because I want to install it on this wall, the remotes. I want to install it on this wall. And the reason for that is, and I'll do an overlay of why I want to do that, but it's pretty much every time I'm working in the kitchen, I have to go over here to shut off the light and then walk back to the living room. If I put the switch here, I just have to finish what I'm doing in the kitchen and come this way and hit the switch on this wall instead of walking back to that wall. So it's just for convenience. And these switches aren't too expensive. They're like 20 bucks each. Uh, you also have to buy this bracket, but I'm gonna be showing you how I put all of this together and how I make these two communicate and how I make that work. This is definitely not a how-to video, but when I went online, there's no one that's showing this switch. So if you have the switch, I'm gonna show you how to wire it. <laughs> but it's pretty straightforward and you guys get to see how I do it at home. <laughs> so first I'm gonna show the outlet, then I am gonna do the switches. So let's do the outlet right now.
So there you go. I'm protected. So as you guys see, it's very simple to do. Just the hot, the neutral, and the ground wire, and you're good. Nothing too complicated, but it's one of those things that I feel is a must in anyone's permanent home. You just finished buying a house and you really wanna protect all your technology. So I recommend this outlet, for example, at your TV stand, at your TV, your microwave, your refrigerator, your stove, like I just finished doing. Because if there's ever a spike in power, none of this stuff will be damaged. And let's just say that you don't wanna protect those things. If you have something like as sensitive as a computer that you use for work every single day, you spend a lot of money on it, this is a must. You should 100% invest in these kind of outlets. It's a small amount to pay for insurance to protect all your stuff. And that's why I put it all over the kitchen, all over the apartment, wherever I had technology. So now let's start doing the switches. So if you look at these little tabs, before you turn on the power, you always wanna take this out first. If there's like a spike in power, you won't damage this. As soon as you hit the power and you push this in, it like programs itself and everything is great. So without further ado, let's do this together. Let's push these in and see what happens. That's the fan. working perfectly and this is the ceiling light perfect and this is the 50% watch 50% looks pretty bright but this is a hundred and this is off so we got it working I really like this Lutron switches because of this surrounding it. It blocks the whole box. You don't have to put any rubber like silencers. I don't know what they're called, but they're like a rubber piece. Let me show you. You know how in some outlets or switches, when you push in the whole entire switch or outlet goes in, this behind it won't allow that to happen. But you don't have to buy this when you have this switch because of this aluminum piece all the way around. You just have to cut this middle piece when you're gonna put two next to each other, so. Yeah, so we got that working. So I'm gonna put the cover plate on now, and then after I put the cover plate, we're gonna start doing the remotes, the Pico switch. It's looking really good. Now I have to connect my Pico switch to the Cressida system or whatever it is so i gotta press this and hold it down till all these lights turn on now that they're on and blinking i hold this one on the pico remote and i think it should go off oh there you go now it's connected now we're good now we test it perfect now for this one, we do the same. Oh, 
and we're good. Shut it off. Turn it on, off, on, off, we're good. I'm gonna have to take that off and I'll show you guys why. So the reason we took off this back piece, off the Pico switches, is because we are going to be installing it in the wall plate. There you go, that's one. And that's two. Now the way that we're gonna mount it on the wall, we gotta get this out of this packaging. And then choose whichever side you want. Perfect. It's all together and ready. So when you're gonna mount it on the wall, all you have to do is put the screws through those holes and you're good. I'm gonna be doing a trick to get everything in line with all the other outlets because I have other outlets in this area. So the goal is to put the switch in the middle of this wall. I want it to match the height of this switch right there. So to do that, I'm going to get a laser, put it in the middle of the floor at the height of that switch so I can get the height on the switch I'm gonna put here. And if you don't have a laser, you need to get a laser. This is one of those things that you don't really need a laser, but it makes a job easier. So get yourself a laser. So the switches are in and let me show you how it works. So if I'm in the kitchen and I don't want to walk that way to turn on the light, I could just reach right here and turn it on from here with no problem. I could do whatever I have to do in the kitchen and if I want to go and eat something in the dining table or the living room, I could walk this way and turn it off from right here. Instead of having to walk back all the way over there just to hit the light. Same thing with the, the fan that's up there. It's the little things in life that make a difference and this one makes a big difference. Really happy with how everything came out. I did uh, scuff up this wall over here when installing it, but the painters have to come back to do the basement. So when they come back, they could hit that and no harm, no foul. I have more switches to do, but they're pretty much all the same exact thing. I have to install 10, it's eight of the ones that are dimmable and two that are an on and off switch, which is for the, one is for here and the other one was for the bathroom. But I won't bore you guys with that. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. So I'm going to end this video here. On the next video, we will be going back to the basement and working on the self level. So, if you learn something new, you can show me by giving me a like. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave it in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this project and want to see more, consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks.